Oh my god, I am finishing off the, a last email that was like 30 pages. It's exhausting. Let me pause this. And in the middle of having background noise, too loud, as my neighbor said, <laughs> Brooklyn Rules. I forgot how gruesome that was. Um, and very loud and rough and swearing. Um, yeah, which my neighbors said as well. <laughs> If anyone's ever watched Brooklyn Rules, it's a classic. So, I look, the last nine years, I've made it very clear that I've had a gut full of it. I had one too many involvement of people that was just causing me damage. And I continuously said, uh, stop, put a stop to it. I've had a gut full of this. Um, and I kept saying it since 2016. It got to the point where I'm like, I end up telling my twin sister, that's it. I want nothing to do with you because you're part of it. I am trying to restore things and correct false information. And you're exactly like our mother. You've turned into her with your, you know, you go off on your own tangent and do what you want to do instead of doing what someone's actually asked you to do. Like if you, like my twin sister, Amanda, was like, oh, I just want to help. I'm like, okay, well then I've already told you that there's only one thing I need help with. You were getting false information in 2015. I was getting lied about and I've asked for one particular thing to be done. One, the lies corrected. So I stopped being harassed by certain groups and organizations. I'm busy trying to focus on having things done in my life before I moved to America. You know, I said that back in 2017, 2016, 2017. And I'm still, this is what the emails, I'm still putting everything out, like going through all the timeline, going for my diary notes. So every single statement that I've uh, made, written in, so everything that went on, I wrote in diaries because I went to try and make official statements to police. So they didn't take it. So then I kept notes and diary notes and um, online notes on my online drive. Like as soon as I had a, um, something went on, I did a, typed up a massive big statement because I was sick of it. <laughs> Like since 2015, I've been sick of it and it's just disrupted my entire life. And this, these assholes that disrupt my life, uh, pl they play the, they're playing the victim. It's like, don't play the victim with me. Um, if this was investigated, you're the one that's actually involving yourself into my life, not the other way around. So don't you dare play the victim with me. If it, this went where it was a clear, um, you know, I had my own legal team, you had yours, my own legal team does an investigation, they'll be investigating, well, hang on, the facts are you deliberately involved yourself in the Justin's life. So you're not the victim, you're the predator. I've had that now for nine years. And it's these people that, they're, oh, they're just playing the victim like you wouldn't believe. Just playing the victim. And it's like, you're not the victim. I'm the victim. You're harassing me. You're destroying my life. And you have destroyed my life in, in every aspect. And you are continuously doing it. And you're continuously playing the victim. But you've done this deliberately. It's like with Deb Mears who deliberately come to Sydney to involve herself into my life in 2017. And it's like, well, you deliberately did that. But you weren't invited by me. I never called you. You deliberately came to my address with Michael Long and wanted to have a meeting with me at the hub. This has been going on since I was lied about in 2015, these people, groups and organizations, whether it's um, there was some weird, creepy religious group, whether it was some um, organization like what Deb Mears was doing, whether it was, you know, this is just it was some social worker. It was just continuous crap for nine years, exhausting. And then they turn around and play the victim. It's like, you're not the victim. You're, I'm the victim. I'm exhausted. My life's destroyed. I'm the victim. You're the predator that's walking around going, oh, poor me. It's like, poor you. If this was a, if this was America where I had a legal team, they do, does an investigation, find out that you've deliberately involved yourself in my life, which you have, you are not the victim. You are the predator. You've deliberately done this. And you deliberately caused someone damage to their life. I mean, you're fucking sick, twisted people. They're sick, twisted people. These country people are sick, twisted wankers. You know, the same thing with my neighbours downstairs. Uh, not saying I, I don't like them, but I've had made many videos and statements about this when I found it weird. I said like, last year, so I found it really weird when Heidi Jones came and approached me in the park and was talking about what trauma I have related to my mother's area. And I'm like, how did she know that my mother lived in Tamworth? I never brought it up. 
And I found that to be really confronting. It's like, what's going on? I'm ha having a gut for this. It's like, why would I have trauma relating to it? My mother ran away there with her second husband. The area has nothing to do with me. I lived most of my life in the city. I only lived there for six years. It doesn't make it, you know, I'm not even close to my mother or her sisters. I get his just bullshit like this for nine years. I'm like, oh my God, I'm over this shit. I'm the one paying it and they're playing victims. It's like, I'll play your victim card. Play it. Because if this was any other country, you wouldn't get past, you know, breaking these privacy. It would be, it would be with a civil rights lawyer. Straight away be with a civil rights lawyer because you've broken civil rights. But these people, and they're always the same types of people. They're so entitled to break the civil rights. It's like, you're breaking civil rights into my life for nine years. Yeah, I'm going to react. I'm exhausted. I'm destroyed. You've damaged my entire life. Hell right, I'm going to fucking react. Oh, God, I've had it. Since 2015, and I turned around in 2015 and said, yeah, that's not true information. Correct it. And the organization chose not to correct it. I'm like, well, I'm not going to be held accountable because you're not correcting it. I told you it was not true. So that's where I'm at. Like I said, if it happened in America, if it happened in the US, it would have gone straight with an attorney. It's like, well, hang on, but you've broken these laws. In America, it would have been, you've broken constitutional laws. In Australia, you've broken human and civil rights laws. We don't have any legal system in Australia, but in America, it does. So they wouldn't have gone on in America like that. Wouldn't have been allowed. But so, hey, look, like I said, uh, a lot of people I would have had socialized in my life. If the bullshit of the last nine years didn't happen, and I'm looking at it now going, no, look, I would never socialize with you because it's been deliberate. There's been this going on and this going on and it's gone on for nine years. So my attitude is, no, I'll have my money and assets back, thanks. Uh, I'm exhausted. It's destroyed. You can see how exhausted I am from it. The damages that it's caused me. And I'm like, you know, I'll turn around and say, no, that's it. Um, you know, I had a perfect life that was disrupted because of a narcissistic lie. Dude, I had the most amazing life that I worked hard for that ended up being disrupted for nine years continuously by these people. And it's like, so you are continuously disrupting my life for nine years. I've actually um, emailed it off to the opposition now as well and said, look, I'm, I'm done. These organisations, I hope they'd never get funded money from the government. So, But yeah, that is, that's what's happened. And you see them playing the victim. It's, it's like, you're not a victim. You're not a victim because you've harassed me and I've responded to your harassment. So you are not a victim as you have deliberately set yourself out to attack my life, to monitor surveillance and harass my life. Yeah. And there's been several people, excuse me, um, have done that over a nine year period. Damage in every aspect of my life. So it's like, you're definitely not a victim. You deliberately set out to involve yourself in my life unwantedly. So you're not a victim. You can play that you're a victim all you want, but you are definitely not a victim. And this has gone too far. I've had a gut for. So i exhausted, you know. And that's where I'm not backing down. Giovanni Consalvo makes partner. He did commit fraud and told people bullshit that was a carer. He's not a carer. Never was. Same thing with um, forging my signature. I'm like, that's it. Mate, you, I told you in 2016, do the right thing and go back and tell the truth to these people because they're not listening to me. And he didn't. So I'm like, well, forget this. I'm sorry, but I'm going to keep pushing for the fact that you've just destroyed my life. You destroyed my life. You lied. You lied and completely destroyed my life. And you had so many chances to actually tell the truth. You didn't. It's a legal matter. Like it's a matter where you need to be charged with fraud and you need to be charged with forgery. And for the fact that that is my signature on those documents that you forged, I won't back down. I'm going to stick to the fact that I want you charged with forgery. And I won't back down from that. You had way too many chances to stop these people, groups and organisations from continuously being involved into my life. That's disrupted my life for nine years, causing me even major health damages. I've put on 40 kilos of weight, probably more now because of it. Major, major, major health damages it's caused me in, in the last nine years and just completely disrupts my entire life. And they stand back, these types of people, and they play the victim. Oh, how they love playing the victim. How these people, which are the predators and criminals, love to play the victim. And you'll find it's always women that play the victim. 
Oh, it's always them that are playing the victim. I just saw it from a person believe the Jeffries is a drug pusher. Kid you not, <clears throat> Belinda Jeffries wants to go out and help people and please everyone with drugs. It's like, hang on, she's a drug pusher who was told several times by me, I don't use drugs. I don't drink alcohol. Belinda Jeffries is, an, uh, is a drug pusher. She's involved in drugs, heavily involved in drugs, such as cocaine. And was like very abruptly told by me, that's it, I've had a gut full of this. Don't come near me. And then uh, she's playing the victim. It's like, she's not a victim. She's a drug pusher. She is a drug pusher. She's not a victim. And it's like, I'm so sick of these people playing this victim card. It's like, you are not a victim. Anyway, I put that up on social media and that's it. At least I finally finished a 30-page email. It's done. It's a massive statement to what's been going on.